dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel also please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories i'd like to also urge you to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed as information is very key Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has disclosed that it sent a memorandum to the National Assembly requesting for devolution of powers and a restructure of Nigeria into six autonomous regions. The development was disclosed by the original founder of IPOB, Mr. Emeka Emekesiri, in an interview with newsmen on Tuesday in Enugu, Mr. Emekesiri said the decision was taken after the IPOP team made several delegations to the British government, asking for assistance in restoration of an independent state of Biafra, but was turned down by the former colonial masters. He said that what the British preferred instead was the devolution of powers into region as was contained in Nigeria's 1963 constitution. Adding that, Britain said it was still interested in Nigeria remaining as one country. Emekesiri said that the idea of seeking for Britain's nod in the Reactualization of Biafra was informed after IPOP sought the assistance of other world powers, which insisted that Britain must be consulted and its opinion established before they could wade into the Biafra matter. According to Eme Kisiri, in 2018, we opened up discussion with the British government. We met them three times, and the last time, they told us clearly that they want Nigeria to be won. They don't want Nigeria to break up. Britain has maintained its stand. It said it wants Nigeria to remain as one country. So, we asked them how do we solve the problem of incapability or incompatibility? People of the Northeast and West unable to live harmoniously, killing themselves because of differences of ideology and lifestyle. World views are different. How do we do it so that the clashes will stop? They asked us for our proposal and said that as far as they were concerned, they want Nigeria to be won. We were there as Biafrans living in Nigeria, and our movement is the movement of Biafrans in Nigeria. We are Biafrans in Nigeria. We had made it clear in our suit versus Nigeria that we are Biafrans living in Nigeria. So, we are Nigerians by citizenship, but we are Biafrans in indigenous identity. We are Biafrans because we were not annihilated during the war. And that is clear to both the British and the Nigerian governments. If Nigeria had annihilated Biafrans by way Romans annihilated Carthage, there wouldn't have been anybody to talk about Biafra again. But they couldn't, but they couldn't. And so we are the remnants of Biafra and we establish our customary government of the indigenous people of Biafra in Nigeria. So we approached the British government as Biafrans in Nigeria who surrounded 
their sovereignty or surrender their sovereignty to Nigeria and whose indigenous identity cannot be denied. We are who we are. The British said, fine, what do you want? We came back to consult our elders and we drafted a memorandum to be submitted to the British Parliament. We sat down with elders and said we can't fight with Britain as world power, but that we can as well copy the British nations of nations of nations model that maintain their indigenous identity, such as Wales, England, Scotland, and Ireland. We went to the British archives and got the British government policy of 1969 and used it to draft a memorandum which we presented to the Britain. In the memorandum, we accepted that Nigeria should remain one, but that the model as it is in Britain, let it also be in Nigeria. The Britain in four nations is four nations in one. The Britain is four nations in one. In Nigeria, we want six in one, and that is the Southeast, the South South, the Southwest, the North Central, the Northwest, and the Northeast. That, that the geopolitical regions shall now become six nations in one Nigeria. And every nation will govern itself in one Nigeria. Control your resources. Develop at your own pace. And we pay an agreed percentage tax to the center. This is the issue of devolution of power or regional government or restructuring that we are talking about now. The politicians call it restructuring, but we, the Biafra activists, are calling it devolution of power to the regions. Ohaneze Ndibo raised this issue on June 28, 2012, and sent it to the National Assembly. Nigerian government sat on it and refused to implement it and said it will never restructure. However, our meetings with the British government paid off and I was not surprised a few months ago when I saw a notice from the Senate that it wanted to amend the Constitution and in the list of items to talk about restructuring and devolution of powers which is our prayer seven in which is our prayer even in our originating summon which is already in court. But without prejudice, we prepared our memorandum and filed it with the Senate. So, the Biafra Memorandum for Devolution of Power to Regions is currently with the Senate. So, any moment from now, when the hearing begins, we shall go for the public hearing and defend our proposal. This is the first time in the history of Biafra struggle that the Biafra Memorandum has been officially submitted to the Nigeria National Assembly. You know you can stay on the street and make noise on the street, but at the end of the day, there has to be some documentation to sign and not on the street. You have to go to where it matters, and right now, the Memorandum for Devolution of Power submitted by the Biafran activists is right now before the Senate. That is where we are now, and we are waiting. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? What is your opinion on this particular issue as it is at the moment? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things to unfold on this particular issue. But however, restructuring the country devolution of power into regions and what it is will just be the way forward and the best thing to be done. 
but we'll keep our fingers crossed and see how it unfolds drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now